National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Senator Iyocha Ayu, and the All Progressive Congress APC were yesterday locked in a war of words over the latest presidential nomination forms pegged at 100 million naira. Recall that the opposition party also pegged its presidential nomination form at 40 million naira earlier in the year, as the cost by both parties elicited scathing criticism from the public. While IU described the APC presidential nomination and expression of interest forms as overpriced, APC accused PDP of doing the same when it was in power and had no right, therefore, to condemn its price. Noting that the high price fixed by APC portrayed the party in the image of rogues and hypocrites, Ayu said, Nigerians can all see that the APC is a fragmented alliance put together to capture power and inflict maximum pain on Nigerians, including their own members. Nigerians will recall how in 2014, Muhammadu Buhari, now president and leader of the APC, told Nigerians that he had to borrow 27 million naira to buy his nomination form. The same man, as leader of his party, has now sanctioned the sale of the same form at 100 million naira. I'm told that is an increase of 370%. But in 2014, the PDP was in power and the economy was still booming. The incompetent APC presidency has now run the economy aground, making Nigeria the poverty capital of the world. How then can improvised APC aspirants buy nominations at such prohibitively high cost? And yet, only recently, he preached equal opportunity to them. By this latest insensitive action, the APC has disenfranchised thousands of high youth and dashed the hopes of millions of Nigerian youth who applauded President Muhammad Buhari when he signed the Not Too Young to Run bill into law in 2018. It is most insensitive and mind blogging. In fact, all those buying the 100 million naira and 50 million. Naira nomination forms should be investigated for fraud. The former Senate president added that unlike the APC, the PDP is a different political party. We are a mass movement for the Nigerian APC. This is why our nomination fee are soft and democratic. When you compare us with the APC, the difference is clear. This is why we must return to power to save Nigerians from this insensitive government, he added. Meanwhile, the party has again extended the sale of its nomination forms to Friday, April 22. Under the review timetable, the last day for the submission of already completed form is Monday, April 25, 2022. Consequently, April 27, 28 and 29 have been slated for the screening of State House of Assembly and National Assembly, Governorship and Presidential Aspirants, respectively while appeals on screening exercise holds on Monday, May 2, 2022. Under the updated timetable, the three-man ad hoc World Congress has been fixed for Saturday, April 30, 2022, while the local government area national delegate congress will now hold on Thursday, May 5, 2022. A statement signed by PDP spokesman Debo. Olu Gonagba said all completed state assembly forms should be returned at various state secretariats of the party. Responding, APC downplayed criticism by PDP, saying the opposition party did the same while they were in power because they felt that their candidate had greater chances of electoral victory. APC national youth leader Dayo Israel, while answering a question on the criticism by the PDP, said, the development also presented an opportunity for youth to show their mobilization skills in the political arena. He said, when PDP were in power and because the chances of electoral victory were higher, they also saw their nomination forms at higher figures. Our National Working Committee, NWC, understands the dynamics of what it entails to have the nomination forms at such figures. And what we have been able to do is to ensure that despite the 
prices, young people are able to get a discount. So they will be able to get a level playing ground to compete. But even at that, as young people, we need to be able to show our mobilization skills that we can mobilize our friends and families for a cause and be able also to raise funds for our overall campaign beyond the purchase of the nomination forms. APC and PDP, sometimes you look at these two parties and you, you feel like there is really no difference between them. Um, we know APC has failed Nigerians. APC has truly, truly uh, uh, failed Nigerians, brought a lot of hardship. PDP right now, uh, they are in war of words with APC. You know, it was uh, two days ago that APC revealed the cost of their nomination form. 100 million naira, they pegged it at 100 million naira. Meanwhile, PDP, they've revealed theirs um, ever since the beginning of the year. 40 million naira. Atiku Abubakar has purchased form. A few of them have purchased forms. And then those people that have purchased, we know that um, they've told us that is their friends. None of them have come out openly to say he purchased the form himself. Most probably not to raise any dust. Um, they've told us that um, their friends and their supporters and allies, they are the ones that purchase the forms for them. The likes of Atiku. But APC are pegging its form at 100 million naira. That is a lot. What PDP is stating right now that um, that is uh, <laughs> something unbelievable. That you know what? The uh, anti corruption agency, the anti graft agency needs to investigate anyone that is able to afford that 100 million naira form. Even before PDP is raising concerns, we know Nigerians have raised concerns about this, spoken about this. Um, Good luck, Ibele, Jonathan's uh, former aide, Renal Mokri. He said that he cannot understand how most of these senators, these politicians that are coming out uh, to get the forms, that some of them, their annual salary is 12 million naira. How are they able to purchase this form? You know, that's why I said that uh, most of them, they will not come out openly to say they purchase the forms themselves so that it will not raise dust. They will end up telling us that their friends purchased it for them or um a group of persons put uh, they, they came together to purchase the forms for them 100 million naira for the form but right now in response apc they are saying that uh, pdp did the same when they were in power because what apc is planning to do without 100 million naira even those that have the true mind to lead that have uh the the competence they might not have that 100 million naira they are trying to set the game so that it will be politicians alone those that they feel that um, the, the funds is within, is in their reach. Those are the only people that can purchase this form. But truly, truly, the 100 million naira is outrageous. Truly outrageous. We thought 40 million naira was a lot. Not until we heard about um, APC's um, nomination form. Well, guys, leave us your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.